Today we're gonna to be going over the three best hybrid cameras of all time, according to me. Before getting into that, I just wanna thank everybody who's hit that subscribe button 400 times. Now you might be saying to yourself, 400, that's not really that big of a deal, but keep this in mind, as far as apps go, the only other time I've probably got somebody to hit a screen 400 times has been to say no to me on my Tinder profile. So getting 400 positive taps on this app, YouTube, really does feel a whole lot better. This list really could have went a couple of ways. Now I'm basically gonna keep this list to the SLR mirrorless dedicated body of cameras. Cause if you're talking to hybrids, already you probably know it's the phone with photo and video. More specifically, probably the iPhone. That's some other video. What bird was that that I was hearing just now? It's like Jurassic World back here. And what do we have here in the mail? It's a flyer from PPA, Professional Photographers of America. Completely unplanned for this moment. <laughs> Summertime in the South, if you're outside for one minute, you must come back in and change shirts. Now there's this trend of me being a camera model early or a camera model behind for cameras on this list. Now this one's not on the list, but it has to be mentioned the Nikon D90 was the very first hybrid shooting 720p and some of the softest video images you will ever see on anything other than shooting a camera through a Coke bottle. This is not the D90, this is the D80, my very first DSLR, shouts out. The first camera coming in, number three on this list, is the Canon Rebel T3i. Or specifically, really, the entire Rebel lineup. In my hand is the 650D, or the T4i here in the States. I actually got this one from Digital Rev TV way back in the day, if you know you know. And the Rebel cameras had this joke of being the soccer mom camera, but really that's not much of a joke to laugh at because before cell phones really blew up, the Rebel line really had a foothold in many people's first and go-to cameras. And it got so many people into photography, this being their first dedicated camera style body. There's just absolutely nothing to laugh at here. And you could put Cine style picture profiles on this camera, which I've got a video about that here on this very YouTube channel. So you can get your first foray into working with more dynamic range in video images. Getting ahead to still figure it out when the T3i onward really kicked in. It was just a little bit rough around that, really a lot rough when it came to autofocus and video, but that would get better with dual pixel autofocus later on down the road. Number two is the Sony a7 III. Let us think about this for a moment. It's 2018, mirrorless hasn't really blown up yet. It's a different world. And for $2,000, you got the hybrid of hybrids with insane autofocus for stills, it would hunt a lot in the video mode, but that would get fits with this camera that I'm on right now. I am once again a body behind shooting this on the a7 IV, but the a7 III was the one that, let's just put it in perspective, sorta of took down a 100-year-old company in Nikon. Like, holy f***ing sh**. But as far as mind share goes, they really took Nikon out of that number two spot and now it's Canon and Sony and it converted a whole lot of people to the Sony ecosystem. That's kind of the thing about this quick list on hybrid cameras. You don't really have to go that far back since the first one started in 2008 to try to create your Mount Rushmore of best hybrid cameras. Number one, you probably already know, the Canon 5D Mark II. Now the Canon 5D Mark II came shortly after the Nikon D90, but whew, that 5D was such a game changer. To use the shallow lenses on something to shoot video was just mind blowing. You could try to jury rig old Magic Lantern up on this thing to get even more features on the camera, which in some cases was quite the nightmare, but you can do it. The Cine style was there. The T3 lineup, or the T3i's, actually had to flip out while the 5D never got to flip out. And that was kind of an advantage of having that APS-C style camera over this full frame. 5D Mark II, 3, 4 is just a beast of a camera as far as build quality. It's known as the tank. Listening to some of the people who rent out camera gear, according to them, say that 5D is just built to last. Until this day, it still does fantastic stills, capping out at 1080p, but at the time, 1080p was like, 
whoa, you got 1080p. Like when I started this channel, you could still get a Ray with 720p and nobody would really think anything much different about it. So perhaps this list calls for a little bit of clarification. Maybe the most important hybrid cameras in history would have been a better name, but important is a longer word for YouTube titles. Best still does matter because the best camera is still the one that's available to you. So that word still has its place as well. But I do wanna hear what you think, so leave a comment down below. Tell me your favorites, what you think's the best hybrid cameras. There's nothing really to debate or argue about. It's more of a, hey, hybrid cameras are pretty cool. Let's just chat about them type of thing. And I thought that hitting forward in itself was the perfect time to chat cameras because cameras is really what this channel and the whole Jaeger shots of the film strip is all about at the end of the day, regardless of what other tangents I might go on on this channel. So if you haven't already hit that like button and subscribe. Also, if you'd like to support the channel, please, by all means do that over at JaegerShots.com where this channel theme, photo and video themed apparel I've got 35 millimeter Pentax, my Handycam JVC, 520 lines of resolution was their claim of fame, and one megapixel of still photos was also their claim of fame. 20 years ago, this was probably what the hybrid shooter would look like. So I'm quite happy with the way that things have advanced in this space. Once again, thanks for watching. And if you like this and want to see more content like this, please subscribe to never miss a shot from JaegerShots.com.